Hello, everybody. My name is Derek Ray, and today I'm joined by Stuart Robson, Alex Scott, and Jeff Shreves. Say what's up, guys. Arsenal and West Ham legend Stuart Robson here. Hello, lads. The GOAT, Jeff Shreves here, boys. Now, let's get this thing fucking started. And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Brentford. The free kick was well executed. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Derek, goddammit, will you let me talk? Honestly, she's right. You need to stop fucking interrupting everyone, Derek. Finally, you fucking said something, Stuart. I just won't put up with it any longer. And Alex, I was thinking, I've really enjoyed the past few times you've come on and given your match updates. I think you're really talented. So I was just wondering if you would like to go out with me sometime, Alex. Are you there, Alex? And now, passing it through. Trying to lob the keeper. Oh, a finish of real class. No wonder he's celebrating. Take a bow. Honestly, Derek, whoever is controlling this defence needs to be punished for this poor performance. Well, what are you thinking, Stuart? Blow up his fucking house, Derek. All right, hold on, Stuart. Just need to find the button. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and he was in the right place to intercept. Well, something has happened in the Everton game. Alex Scott can tell us more. It's a third goal for Manchester City. Actually, Alex, I really don't fucking care what's happening in the other game. Screw you, Derek. Don't talk to Derek like that. Get the fuck out of here, Alex. Thanks for having my back out there, Stuart. She's a real bitch. It's got to be. Ready to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It is Liverpool versus Barcelona. Yes, thanks as always, Derek, for that boring fucking introduction. Why don't you just go take a nap and I'll commentate this game, Derek? I don't think anyone wants to hear your shitty Arsenal stories, Stuart. Everybody knows my Arsenal stories are fucking legendary, Derek. All right, shut up. Let's unmute our mics now. Cheers, Derek. Simple stuff, really, for Ter Stegen. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Looks to me as though the problem is his hamstring. Well, yeah, no shit, Jeff. We can all see that. All right, Derek, listen here, you little shit. You know absolutely nothing about injuries, so shut the fuck up before I march my way up to the commentary box and stick my foot straight up your ass and make Stuart watch. Cheers, Jeff. There aren't many better midfield fulcrums than Thiago. What sort of game do you expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes round the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And did you know Thiago could have played on the Sugandes national team, Derek? What are you talking about, Stuart? What the hell is Sugandes? Sugandes fucking nuts, Derek. How did you actually fall for that, Derek? <laughs> And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Ozim Hen? Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Well, these fans are making for the exits now. Their team have been totally outplayed today. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. Yep, the problem there is actually his upper thigh. He took a heavy blow to it in that last challenge. He's moving a little gingerly on it, but I think he's just being a little bitch. He'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Can Liverpool find a winner? Untidy in possession. And that's not what you want to be doing when you've already been booked. And the referee has shown him a second yellow card. That will be it for him. Well, finally, we don't have to watch him play anymore, Derek. Yeah, Liverpool actually has a chance to win now, Stuart. 